welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And today we have a $10,000 Rocket Pokemon Booster Box that we're gonna be unboxing today with a good friend of mine, Grant Navar. I've known Grant for about a year now. He's a subscriber of the channel. He owns 31 rental properties worth about $11 million, bringing about $50,000 a month. And when he came to me with this booster box wanting to open it up, Figured, why not? We could do it here on the channel. So you paid how much for this? So this one right here, I paid $10,000 for this one and I got a few other ones as well. This is one of the Christmas boxes I own and I love that little rocket box. I paid 10 for this one and then this one, $20,000, mm. which is just so crazy because these things originally sold for hundred bucks and that's a first edition right there. So that's pretty cool. Got it. So how much could the contents of this be worth if we pull the right cards today? So I am an extreme fan of Graham's channel. So when I say this, uh, this is going to be a bad investment to break these boxes. So it's probably going to be worth, if it's a $10,000 box, maybe seven, eight thousand in card value. Now, if you get PSA 10s and all that other stuff, then it can help. So. Got it. Now, I always thought that the value of some of these could be way higher if you just pull the right cards. How is there no way that you could make more than 10,000 with this box? So sealed product is the biggest hype right now. Yeah. And of course, it's the, it's the mystery of what's in the box versus what's in the box. But of course, both of us love Pokemon, so. Right. Well, let's have fun. Let's open this up and you can talk a little bit about your real estate portfolio, which I'm sure helped fund some of this stuff. Yeah. So. Let's open it up. How do we open it up? So. Yep. It is in this really cool acrylic case. Oh, this is, this is, this is so, it's like sacrilege opening yeah. this thing. Can I hold it really quick? Absolutely. Wow. So what are these used to sell for? So a hundred bucks. Are you serious? Yeah, that's what the new ones sell for nowadays. And the new ones, they're not as cool. Like these are, you get the wizard label. They came in first edition. There was a lot more right. cool stuff when we were younger. Well, I'll let you do the honors if you want to open this up. All right. So just to show you, the box is completely sealed. I'm nervous to even open these yeah. things. It's crazy. And so, go ahead. What happens if it turns out to be fake? What do you do? How do you get your money back? So, uh, if it turns out to be fake, because this box did have these two little crimps right here, which does make me nervous, uh, I lose my money and I brought a spare for uh, us to open. So, that's what would happen. Yeah. All right, so actually, this is your channel. So, how about you do the honors? Nervous. Uh, you, okay. You should be. That we is... got uh, not a razor blade here, so it's plastic for safety. I feel like I get a bit of a thing right there. Oh. Hey. Right there. That was a nice cut. Thanks. This is fun. Yeah. There we go. 20 year old box, right? Wow. Now. And then I'll like, should I just open it like this? Sure. And it's already crimped, so you can do it old style how they uh, used to have it for pack wow. sales. Look for... at that. And then can I put this down yeah. like it's meant to? I would say pop that out. Yeah. How you do that? There you go. So careful. This is my first time as well. So. Wow. Hold on. And so, of course, you want to make sure that all the packs are a rocket wizard pack. Wow. So. so we got. We got all of these. Look at that. Oh my God. That's neat. This is incredible. I can't believe it. It's, it's different when you're watching this on like Leon Hart's channel versus doing it in person. I'll tell you, like I needed coffee before opening this and now I, I see this. It's incredible. There's, there's, it's indescribable what this feels. It is, it's what $10,000 gets you guys. It's just, do, do we want to take them all out? Cause I feel yeah. like Take them all out, you sure? And we're gonna Ooh. split them up and have a pack battle. See okay. who, see who, who uh, wins the pool. Deal. So right now we got 10 packs each. Uh, I think, uh, Grant, you go first. Whew. Let's see what we get. Oh, goodness, this go is for crazy. It, so, 20 year old pack. Where's the hollow? Is it four from the back or three? Three, three. Old, old school three. Old so. school three, all right. All right, so we got Digger. Okay. We got Nightly Garbage Run, Dark Cadabra, Meowth. We got a Goop Gas Attack, Grimer, Oddish, Zubat, Charmander. Oh. Let's see what we got here. Oh, no, apparently there's another one, Afra. And then we got a Energy. So oh, you got an Energy? Let's Rainbow see. Rainbow Energy. Hollow or non-hollow? No, non-hollow. All right. It's good news for you, sir. All right, so here's the battle. Guys, to make this more exciting, since we're in Las Vegas, we're going to make a bet. I'm gonna bet you $300 that I'm going to pull a dark Charizard. You up for the deal? I'm down. Shake on it, Absolutely. 300 bucks. Whoever pulls it first, we'll give the other person 300 bucks. Sounds like a plan. Cool. All right, so here we go. Imagine if I just pull it right here. 
I would be happy. Yeah. Now, the hollow or, because there's a non-hollow oh. and a hollow. So we gotta do the hollow. Ho hollow, you think so? Okay. If, if nobody pulls a hollow, then it goes to the person that pulled uh, the, the okay, hollow. Okay, deal. Because the hollow, I mean, yeah. you know, that's the one with the value. Sure, look at that. Okay, so we got uh, three from the back. Yes, sir. So, I want to be so careful. One, two, three. Energy. Dark Charmeleon. Very nice. Dark Machoke. Vault Orb. Squirtle. Ponita. Rattata. Oh, we got an Eevee. Grimer. Trainer. And it's a green one. Dark Weezing. Non hollow. Non hollow? Is it hollow? No, not hollow. Oh. Wait, no, it is hollow. You, you almost can't tell on this card. It's so very dark. dark wheezing hollow. Very nice. Let's uh, let's oh, yeah. grab one of those things. Nice, not bad. So I'm winning so far. Yes, you are. So since we're doing a Pokemon battle here, what we're going to be doing is putting the value of the rare cards on the side, so you can keep track of how much each of our cards are worth, and we can see who wins at the very end. Absolutely. Your turn. All right. Come from behind victory. <laughs> All you need is one hollow Charizard. That's, that's it. That's and, it. And, and truth be told, I would yeah. love for them both to have two in the box. True. And if I get both of them, you know, I wouldn't be mad at them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Cool. I got a Dark Flareon. Nice. Dark War Turtle. You got Dark Persian, Machop, Charmander, Voltorb, Mankey, Dark Eradicate. You got Squirtle, Sleep Trainer. And a Tart Gyarados non-holographic. Oh, Still a good wow. card. Still cool. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm winning so far, guys. Let's open up this one. These are opening up really nicely. Yeah. And I'm glad it's not a fake. Yeah, me too. All right, so we got Primeape, Golduck, Energy, Diglett, Voltorb, Squirtle, Trainer, Magnemite, Dratini, Drowsy, and the last one, it's another green one. It is a Dark Vile Plume Ooh. Hollow. Yeah. Wow. That's two right there. There we go. Look at that. That and is that, so cool. Those are beautiful cards. Yeah. That's probably the prettiest Dark Vile Plume. Look at that. Wow, two hollows. Gorgeous right. card. Definitely coming from behind over here. <laughs> What if it ends up being where he gets all the hollows and I get all the other ones? I love it. When I do these on my channel, uh, we always joke because in the event that one person still has all of the holographics and the other person pulls, of course, the craziest card, that is, that's still the, the winner. But I mean, however, all right, Machop. <laughs> Dark Arpok non-holographic. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my God, okay. Wow. So Graham is, yeah. Graham is decidedly kicking the butt. Wow, okay. Right now. All right, next. This is incredible. This is so much fun. Isn't it fun? This is fu so much fun. Who would ever thought ripping open $10,000 oh would be this fun? All right, I could get used to this. That's the problem. This is lifestyle inflation. This is what it looks like firsthand. <laughs> Imagine if I get another hollow, three for three, we're going to the casinos after this. Deal. Dark Gloom, Dark War Turtle, Energy, slow po uh, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Squirtle, Ponita, Rattata, Eevee, another Grimer, and I think this is a, it's an energy, non-hollow energy. I appreciate you letting me have a chance. All right. Let's see if I can start turning around this luck. Okay. See, this is why I should just keep sealed boxes. <laughs> Dark Kadabra, Dark Dragonair, I really like that card, and of course, Dark Charmeleon, I okay. have that card as well. Machop, Slowpoke, Dark, Radicate. Mankey, Voltorb, Diglett, Sleep Trainer, and that is... You can't tell if it's hollow or not. It is hollow. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's hollow foil. Nice. Hey. Congratulations. Very nice to, to get back in the game. I guess cool. I'll just borrow some of your stuff. There we go. Cool. So I got a question for you. Why do you decide to build your rental properties instead of just buy them turnkey or buy them and then renovate them? So uh, when you renovate, you're gonna tend to run into a few more issues. When you build brand new, you're gonna have less maintenance, less headache, and it's something that, it's kind of like getting a new car versus a used car. Right. I like everything used. However, 
you know, having to deal with tenant calls left and right, one of the things that you also agree with, it's just, it's a headache. So, right. you know, when you build them brand new, there's just less, less to do. Do you find the return is better? Um, yeah, I do. Because if you build them right, you get the right contractors, the right bids, then absolutely you can get built in equity that you created, which is, which is amazing. What sort of return do you usually go for? The 16 apartments that I'm building just appraised for 2.68 okay. and I'm building them for 1.57. So, you know, 100, I mean, 1, 570,000 bucks, that's a million dollar win. Right. So just from 16 of my units. And how many do you try to build every year? Well, uh, last year, uh, when I started my, my channel, I had, I did a video and it was $5.3 million in real estate and we're at 11 now. So yeah. I, I not necessarily double it, but you know, this year I'm planning on going towards 75. So I have 31. So that's the goal, 75 cool. units. Not to build, but to have. Okay, Holland. kicking the butt. Yeah, got another hollow. <laughs> He's like, look, you're still talking, but I'm still yeah, winning. I'm still winning. <laughs> Do you have a goal in mind of uh, how much you want to get to before scaling back? Or you just want to keep going, you have fun with it? Um, when I get to 100 units, okay. uh, I'm going to start making that decision. Uh, I am, there is something that I just did, and I've told you about it. I'm, I'm getting a uh, shopping center. We close uh, in February, which is very exciting. Cool. It, whole new experience, but we're going to see. We're gonna see if I'm up for the challenge. All right, let's see if I can catch up here. No, <laughs> Dark Machamp. So Dark Machamp, ah, non-holographic. Jeez. Okay. And how much do you think you're gonna be purchasing that for? So I am purchasing it for uh, 1.2 million, okay. and uh, it's probably worth about 1.7 is what the realtor's telling me and, and what what the appraisal was last year. So. How were you able to get that good of a deal? It's unrented. Ah, okay. So got a little work. Yep. What's the overhead on that? Is that uh, gonna cost you every month? So as far as, uh, I'm gonna do an interest only loan, which yeah. I don't know how you feel about those, but until I get it rented, I wanna have a little bit more comfort. Is it hollow? Okay. Nope. So uh, it will cost uh, about $3,500 a month on the interest only. And if I was to do an actual payout, I'm putting 20% down and uh, that would be, ooh, worst banana peel and pack oh, right yeah. there. But I, it would end up being about $6,500 a month on the note for a 20 year with 4%. How did, you, how did you learn how to do all of this? Real estate. Yeah. So um, I have sold cars since I was 18 years old. Uh, did pretty well. Made $75,000 my first year and about an average of $75,000. Uh, and then I became a manager and other things like that. And I decided that real estate would be pretty cool. So at 18 years old, my I guess I should say this, my mother told me I couldn't have girls in my room. So mm. making good money, thinking I knew everything, I decided to get into real estate, bought my first apartment. and. Uh, Another non-holographic uh, R box. Oh, okay. I like it. So, but um, Graham is having a, a field day. He's this side, wherever the yeah. score is. Yeah. It's, but anyway, uh, I, I bought my first uh, apartment, ninety-six thousand bucks. You know, and I realized that I could build a duplex for not double the price that I paid for the first one. Right. End up renting one side, living in the other, and at nineteen years old, I had my first duplex. Congratulations. And how were you able to scale that up to where you are now? It's all about getting comfortable. Yeah. Uh, you know, I actually, and, and living below your means, I lived in that duplex. Even when I got promoted after four and a half years in sales, got promoted to manager, broke every record we ever had, and uh, say it so after it's we. It's a dark Alakazam. Okay. Ah, non hollow. Uh, that's a beautiful card, though. Yeah, I know. Okay. And so, so anyway, I, um, after, after getting promoted, I ended up. You know, you, your, your real estate career is actually what led me to your channel making really good income. Mm -hmm. And I was making 350000 a year as a finance manager, and I still stayed in that apartment for until I was 22 years old. Smart. Yeah, until I was 24 years old, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, house hacking and, uh, you know, before house hacking was a thing, yeah. or not a thing, but as you, cool as it is now. Do you invest in stocks? Yes. You do? Yeah. What's your so, portfolio like? So right now, I put $450,000 in the market. Uh, lost some money when I was 18. Once again, tried, tried a lot of things. Trial and error is basically, yeah. I guess, the answer to what you asked me. Trial and error of learning uh, what I've done. And now it is at 955,000. And we could, I, I couldn't say that's 100% accurate, but it's darn close. Mm -hmm. And we could, you know, oh, dark dead trio. Dark dead trio. <laughs> So what did you invest in? Uh, so Carnival Cruise Line, uh, oh, Norwegian. Smart. I did a lot of companies that took a big hit. Uh, when I lost money in 2008 during the Great Recession, you know, I always quotated, I'm sorry, from quotation, mm -hmm. Great Recession. But um, when I ended up losing money in the Great Recession, uh, I uh, decided that this would be my Super Bowl. The next time that the market dipped, I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna let it leave me behind again. Are you continuing to invest in the markets now? Oh yeah, yeah, so I'm, 
oil and gas, you know, I've, I've got, I've got uh, some gaming. I do have some, uh, some cannabis stocks as well. Mm -hmm. See how those do. So we got dark, dark blastoise. Okay. Okay. Wow. This, this could be it. Is it all? Oh, no. Hollow. So, but that deserves a uh, sure. that deserves a sleeve. Absolutely. Maybe even oh, the dark alakazam is still a cool card. Yeah, I agree. And you're thinking about buying a house for yourself? So yeah, we are going to be starting new construction, but right now, uh, as you know, building materials are going crazy. So when you're going to build something with small margins like a personal home, it's it's harder. Mm -hmm. So it's a green one. It's a green card. So we got a diglet, and we got a dark gold bat. Hollow? Yes. Hollow. Sorry. Hollow. Nice. Okay. Dark go back holographic. I wasn't used to saying that, so I had to, yeah. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. Yeah. Lately, I've been putting a lot of money in the markets. Um, I found it to be just very simple at this point just to invest in something completely passive. Sure. And that's been really my go-to. It's just every, every morning, I really have so much fun just going and buying into the markets. How's and I should be just lumping it together, just one big thing every single month, but uh, I have fun every day just buying a little bit because it makes me feel like I'm working towards something every day. And your cost average and down as well. I mean, how's the, how's the stock picking monkey doing for you? Insane. That's awesome. I, I think I'm up like eight or 9% right now in the stock picking monkey. Uh, Netflix did really well. We got another dark blastoise. Oh, this, it has this, to be. this has to be the hollow. Oh, this is it. It is? It's a hollow. Hey! Wow. You said, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> wow. Jeez. I'll hand you a sleeve. That sleeve. is gorgeous. Now, let's see this. Uh, centering looks to, it's, looks to be almost perfect. The hollow, you don't really see any print lines on that. The back, oh, that could, that could almost be a 10. That's incredible. Let me ask you this, are you, are you putting any money in crypto? No, not yet. Why? Uh, well, I don't understand it well enough, okay. but I am, I am researching it. Same thing as, uh, as, as calls. I know Jack can, can teach me a few things about, <laughs> about covered calls. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that lesson. But yeah, no, I, I, I'm a creature of habit. Okay. I, I'm building every two years a move. I do this, I build yeah. apartments, I buy apartments, renovate apartments, um, and I'm in the car business as well. So, you know, I would love to learn more about it, but I gotta, yeah. I gotta understand it before I buy it. Got it. Even if it's gonna go yeah. to $100,000 for right. it, I gotta learn fast. So I did 1% of my portfolio into Bitcoin and Ethereum. So 60% Bitcoin, 40% Ethereum. And when it dropped uh, a big amount down to 31 recently, I bought some more. So still a little bit over 1%, but so How's far, it? so far so good, unless it drops again. But uh, so far, I, I've averaged in around low 30s. Around 3132 for Bitcoin and uh, about 11 for Ethereum. And it was, and, and I don't be ignorant on this, but it was at 40,000 recently, right? 35, would it never get to 40 or no? Uh, Bitcoin mm -hmm. got to 40. Got to 40, okay, got to I thought 40, so. Yeah. So this one, I got a hollow energy. There we go, so, nice. Yeah, rainbow energy. But I think I would recommend, even if you just put like 50 grand or something into Bitcoin or Ethereum, you never know. Sure. Because I think if, if, you, if you're buying, let's say, a, a $10,000 pack or box that will lose value as soon as you open it, this is fun. But you can also have a lot of fun watching the price of Bitcoin. And it's interesting to see how many institutional investors right now are putting their money in it. And who knows where it might go, but I just think it's safer to put 1% in it than be 1% out of it. It's I'll been my been my recent thing. Definitely look at that because when I last time I was on your channel, you actually talked about putting more in stocks because Kevin O'Leary had had that yep. conversation with you. So I, I've been itching to look at it. And one of the reasons I did buy Bitcoin is because you know you used to not be so. And I'm a pretty oh, yeah. I'm a pretty big fan of the channel. Yeah, I've actually made more money in stocks this year uh, than real estate. But okay, so we got dark magneton. Okay. Let's see if it's hollow, hollow. No, non-hollow. Good enough. So the dark magneton yeah. in a PSA 10 first edition, okay, yeah. not what we're opening, but per first edition, can be worth up to $17,000 wow. if it's a 10. It's hard to grade. Oh, because the and print there's not lines. many out of them. Yep. That's why. Yep, and it's got that cool back. So that card in hollow is really pretty. I agree. So what other projects are you working on right now for an investment? So, uh, you know, 
as you know, real estate takes quite a bit of capital to, to, to invest in. So we're actually gonna start something I've never done before, build and sell real estate. So we're, I bought a subdivision with uh, 18 lots and I bought a lot of, of other land. That's why my portfolio doesn't show as much of a profit because it's been weighed down by a lot of land. Um, but we're gonna be building these out. They're gonna be uh, 2,000 square foot homes. In my area, they sell for about $300,000, 350, maybe even four, depending on how the, the market's going because of the hurricanes, all the things we've dealt with. And uh, you know, we're gonna probably make about seventy thousand dollars a house, mm -hmm. and then I am gonna be working with my contractor, and I think we're gonna really see a good profit. Hey, dark hypno holographic. Nice. That's a beautiful card. Let me see it. It's not as pretty as the oh, as the Alakazam yeah. holographic, but it's I do enjoy hypno. I always thought that card was weird because of the nose. Yeah. The nose kind of threw me off on that. Yeah, the hypno is a is a strange one, but yep, still pretty. So, how many houses are you planning to build and sell? Uh, so, I, ha I, I like to build projects that other people, you know, couldn't finish or whatever else. Uh, there's just, there's, there's, you, can, you can pick up a better deal. And so, this 18 lots will, and the, and the dirt's already done, everything, and I really did a good job on the, on the purchase, will be uh, 18, and then I've got a, another piece that I have to put the road in and all the other headache, mm -hmm. uh, and that one is going to be 47. So, that one's intimidating. So. Wow. So, we got a dark gold bat. Okay. And it, it non-hollow. Hmm. How soon do you think the houses are gonna be ready? So we just broke ground on the first two, and that'll be really neat. I, I, I couldn't tell you the content's gonna be great about it, but it'll be really neat to see houses getting built and sold, uh, and just a different aspect of it. It's going to take, my contractor said three months, let's, let's just say five. I think if interest rates stay low, you're gonna have such an easy time selling these houses because if those houses are ready right now, oh, yeah. they would be flying. Yeah, the, uh, the real estate market. Oh no, I must have done something wrong. Oh, what did you get? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't pass up the dark Charizard. I have no idea. So you're not one in there? I don't know. Unless I did the three twice. Nope. Oh, I did. Ah, oh, that's it. Dark okay. Machamp. Another one. All right. Where do you think the real estate market's gonna be going? Well, so my fiance uh, is a real estate agent and okay. in uh, Lake Charles, we only had 250 houses on the market, so supply is still very low or demand's still where it was. Right. And uh, I, I think it's gonna be doing exactly what you said. It's very, like, it's very similar to that in California. They're building houses over here in Vegas. I mean, it's just, it, the demand is huge. So yeah, it's, it, when they list them in their quality, they get sold. Yep. All right, so we got, it is green. Dark vile plume, non hollow. You still, regardless yeah. if we got the same amount of hollows, but you got better ones. You dark blastoise wins. So. Right. All right. We'll rapid fire this one. Yeah. So let's okay. see what we did here. I won't mess it up this time. My All three right. card trick. You get talking about real estate and you get excited. Let's see here. Magic carp, Eevee, cat, trainer, sludge guy, bat. Ooh. Hey! What'd you get? So of course I love my Charmander, but I got a holographic Team Rocket. And, you know, here comes Team it? Rocket. Nice. Oh, cool. Okay. I was about to say blasting off. Yeah, the here we go. It's like natural okay. to say it that way. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, that, that's the first little bit. That's the first one I ruined. We got Challenge, Polygon, Dark Electrode, Another Mankey, Sleep, Magnemite, Coughing, Meowth, Psyduck, and then this is. Oh, uh, sneak attack, non hollow. Give me the bad ones. <laughs> well, let's see if one of us can at least pull the elusive and majestic creature. Dark Flareon, Dark Persian, Dark War Turtle, Abra, Charmander, Psyduck, Slowpoke, Machop, Mankey, oh, Dark Eradicate. Hey, oh, he's, he's not holographic. Oh, you got the Charizard. Yeah, but he's not holographic. I got wow. excited. Wow. So does that mean, so so far, I think that means I would owe you the 300 bucks. Uh, well, actually, we did make that rule. Yeah. I'm pretty sure whoever pulled it. So you have to pull a, uh, the same card. Yes, or, or hollow. Or hollow. Wow. I, but, I may have just lost 300 bucks. But the cool thing about yeah. this card, so first edition, I don't know this one, but we'll, we'll put it on the screen. Um, but first edition, Non-holographic Dark Charizard is still worth a thousand plus bucks. Yep. Isn't that crazy? I bought one recently. For a non-holo? Uh, PSA 9, I paid 550, but the 10s were going crazy. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. And it's, a, it's not holographic. Right. I like so we got Persian, so I got to catch up here. Jolteon, Zubat, 
Otis, Grimer, Ekans, Abra, Charmander, and then this it. This is a Dark Slope Bro Non Hollow. Ah, jeez. Okay. So don't worry. Okay. Even if you end up, which I doubt, you're going to pull the holographic Charizard. We we uh, we we've got know. to. It's got to be in this yeah, box. There's it a, will. Yeah. There's a sixty percent chance that it has yep. has in this box. But I did bring you something that I'll I'll give you when we do the, oh, on, the on the podcast. Deal. Okay. You know me. So. And it's going to be over the top. By the way, guys, here's a good reason to go and follow the Iced Coffee Hour and subscribe because I have no idea what you're about to give me. And we're going to open up a few more packs over there. So the link to that is down below in the description. You've got to subscribe to that. It's not going to be quite as crazy as the Rolex that I sent, but uh, it will be pretty cool. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, Dark Raichu Holographic. Oh, wow. That's fun. You're picking good ones. Let's see. I like this round back. Wow. <laughs> the last oh, round was kind of rough. Look at that. Kind of rough. That is cool. All right, I gotta catch up here. I think really my only saving grace on this one is the Dark Blastoise. Sure. But let's see, we're gonna add it up. I mean, you win anyway so far. Unless you pull that majestical yeah. creature. Sorry, Dark Dragonair, whoops. I mean, I'm running out of space here. Trainer, Slowpoke, Chop, Mankey, Dark Radicate, Diglett, Voltorb, Squirtle, it's green. Dark wheezing, non hollow. Non hollow? Non hollow. It's crazy how hard that card is to see. Yep. So I, I'm on my last pack. Go for it. Um, last pack magic, maybe? Let's see if we can get that right. dark Charizard. That'd be really cool. Let's okay. see. So we got Trainer, Trainer, Abra, Psyduck, Snake, Monkey, Machop, Dark Radicate, Slowpoke. And a non-holographic Dark Hypno is where I am. All right, so we got Rapidash, Electrode, Magikarp, Squirtle, Dratini, Magnemite, Ponita, Drowsy, Coughing, Rattata, and please be ri purple. So it's definitely not that. Dark Hypno, non-holo. We got the same card. Yep. This was still a lot of fun. Wow. Though. So here's a quick recap of the hollows. Dark Blastoise. Sneak Attack, Vile Plume, and Dark Wheezing are my hollows. And then my non hollows, we got Dark Slowbro, Vile Plume, Golbat, Magneton, Doug Trio, Alakazam, and a non hollow Blastoise. So on my recap of these, I got Dark Raichu, really pretty card. Here comes Team Rocket. Uh, Dark Hypno Holographic, of course. We got. Uh, Rainbow Energy, Dark Gold Bat, Dark Weezing, and then a non-holographic Dark Charizard, which is still a great card. Cool. Curious to know what this one's valued at. And then the other Dark Charizard has got to be in those oh, six. Okay. So guys, make sure to go and subscribe to the Iced Coffee Hour so we'll unpack these last remaining six where hopefully we have a holographic Charizard in one of these. Make sure to subscribe to that. And guys, how about this? Go and subscribe to Grant's channel. He just told me that he's gonna be giving away all of these cards that you see right here on the table with the exclusion of these, obviously. <laughs> but everything from here over, he's gonna be giving away on his channel. All you gotta do is go and subscribe and comment on his latest video, whatever it is, and then he'll pick someone at random and just ship everyone these cards. So if you want these, there you go, enjoy. Is there anything else you wanna say? I would say uh, smash the like button for the almighty YouTube algorithm. There we go, guys. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, feel free to add us on Instagram. I post it pretty much daily, so if you want to be a part of it there, feel free to add me there as the podcast, The Iced Coffee Hour, where we're going to see what's inside these last remaining packs, and maybe there's a Charizard in there. And uh, don't forget to also get your four free stocks down below in the description, because Weeble is giving away four free stocks, potentially worth all the way up to $1,600. So if you want that it's basically free money down below in the description enjoy let me know what stocks you get thank you so much for watching and until next time